Woke culture is telling young women that they should abandon motherhood. They should chase that high career path and be more masculine. Nah, you shouldn't stay at home and raise your kids, that's old school. Just chase that high career and outsource your motherhood to a nanny. We Spartans value tradition. Motherhood is one of the proudest achievements of a woman. We know that women are the key components of a family. Therefore, a mother cannot be outsourced or forgotten. Woke culture is telling young women that being a woman is somehow inferior because they should just be more masculine. They should be independent and strong. You know, strong independent boss babe who don't need no man. They should work just as hard as men do. Have the same amount of sex as men do. Just hook up whenever they want. We want masculine women now. <laughs> Woke culture is telling women that they should chase that career over motherhood. Nah, motherhood, you can do it in 15, 20 years, but first focus on your career now, that's more important. You can always become a mother later when you're older. It almost sounds as if feminism isn't in favor of women, because they tell women that they should be more masculine. But why is that? Feminism should be about embracing the beauty of femininity. To embrace your true purpose as a woman. But, but, but how can feminism be a bad thing? And you probably thought feminism was a good thing too. But when you actually look at the psychology behind the whole movement, you understand how bad it is. And it's worse than you thought. A lot of women are chasing careers right now. And I'm not saying you cannot work as a woman. Sure, if you want to chase that career, go ahead. If that's your dream, go ahead. But the problem is when they chase that high career path, they often disregard building a family or they delay it by 10 years. And there is a huge problem in that. And I'm going to tell you why later in this video. So, and when a woman is actually chasing that high career path, her ability to get a partner actually decreases. And this is because men don't find it attractive. But why? Well, when you chase a high career path, you often develop very masculine traits. Because a woman who is chasing that high career path has to have a true purpose, has to strive towards her goal, has to be strong, independent. And those are often masculine traits. But the average man doesn't like a masculine woman. Sure, there are some men who do like and do want a masculine woman. Maybe there are some feminine little boys here who need direction of a masculine and strong woman. But most men don't like that. And because of that, these high career chasing women are often less successful in finding a partner. So, if you want to be a strong independent boss babe who don't need no man, Sure, go ahead, but accept the consequences. Men won't find you as attractive as other women, as feminine women. And there is another reason why these high career chasing women aren't that successful in, in finding a partner. Because women often tend to trade economically upwards. So this means they earn a certain amount of money, but they want a partner, they want a man who is more successful as them. That's just how nature works. Women often want a man who is more successful than them. Let's say you are a CEO as a woman, that's great. But how many men are there actually above you as CEO? There aren't so many men left. That's why these women often struggle finding a valuable partner who is actually more economically higher than them. Another very interesting thing is there was a study between women who were having a full-time job and women who were raising their kids and, and you know being a mother and they found out that women who are actually chasing that career were far less happy in general than the women who were you know embracing motherhood and starting a family and I don't have the study right here but I do think it is true. I think motherhood can be the greatest experience of a woman. And when you trade motherhood for a career, I can understand why these women are less happy. 
you know and i do think women are not meant to be working 40 50 hours a week you know back in the days women stayed at home and the man went hunting boars men did the hard work because men were actually made to do the hard work in nature when you look at that true purpose they are made to be very strong a woman is made to be caring you know to be the foundation of a family and to raise the kids they were not meant to hunt boars in the woods sure sure a woman can hunt that boar she can hunt that that career path but i don't think it's her true purpose i don't think it is true to her feminine core of caring and, and you know building relationships building a family and when you look at the statistics it's pretty horrible but still many women these days will gladly trade their motherhood for a career 50 percent of women are childless at age 30. i don't think that was the case 50 years ago 50 years ago it was normal to have a kid at 20. i think 20 would actually be the average age of which a woman has children well, I think now it's more like 30. I don't know the exact statistics, but it's a bit like pro science here. So when a woman is chasing that career path to her 20s, when she reaches the, her 30s, she actually often wants children at this moment. But the thing is, at this moment, you know, around 30, 35, the chances of her actually becoming a mother because of nature actually declines rapidly. Women can have children until around 40, you know? The chances of her conceiving a child at 20 are much higher than her conceiving a child at 35. And because of this woke culture and chasing careers over motherhood, we have actually seen a huge decline in birth rates over the past few years. And I will show you the graph right here. And what do you think would happen to a woman if she has this idea? Yeah, I'm first just gonna chase that career and later I will have kids. And then it is later and she's ready to have kids now. She's now 30 and it doesn't work. She's not able to conceive a child because of old age. What do you think happens to this woman? I would be very depressed if I were that woman. Do you actually think an average woman would be happy to stay childless their whole life? To, to look back at their life when they're 50? Yeah, yeah, I had a wonderful childless life. Some might be like this. But I think most women have that dream of actually becoming a mother. And when that dream is getting destroyed by a career, that's just sad. I think Having a family is one of the most beautiful and most important parts of life and especially motherhood for a woman. So don't trade your career for a family, for your motherhood. It sounds so nice to strive that career, but the consequences are so big. So remember Spartans, if your woman wants to chase that high career path, encourage her in her decision. But remind her of the beauty of motherhood. Make sure a career isn't the top priority of your woman. Family should be. Because becoming a mother and having a family is one of the most beautiful experiences in life. And if you want to know why meaningful relationships in our society are rapidly declining, go and watch this video. Spartans, prepare for glory.